The massive amount of newly decomposing vegetation is like a supercharger for fish activity under the hood of these new North Dakota offshoot lakes from Devil's Lake for walleye and northern pike. I suppose there's a little bit of competition for food in here. But a high volume of bites. Yeah, we've been fishing all of about an hour. I think we got like 35 fish already. I'm sweating. Isn't the only proof that this time of year, activity is full bore along the cutback shorelines, featuring a good amount of heavier wood line. Wow, one after another. Walleye. Walleye. Oh, oh, pike chasing that? it. <laughs> wow. Look at him. Oh, he got him. Look at the pike. Look at him. <laughs> He's got him. <laughs> He's got him. <laughs> and he ain't letting go either. He's like, my walleye. There's my walleye. Let go. Look at him. Don't have a hook in him. <laughs> With such an aggressive bite just off the edges of the wood line, fish. cranks are probably key. Get the net. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they're the only lure that can produce. <laughs> and on the old pink shine. That's a good bait here. Yeah. It produces walleye. Especially if you're looking to break down water more quickly. Well, as hot as it's outside, it's still fairly cool water. I mean, it's only 60. Yeah, they're fighting good. To locate bigger walleye and pike. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate, I hate the bait. Five inch ripple shad. Fish, 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 Keith. Hey, it's a walleye. It's a walleye, Keith. Huh? It's a walleye. <laughs> Come on, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Swim bait fish. Yeah. I mean, how were you working it? How did he hit? Well, I was doing that herky jerky the retrieve, you know, and I just paused and pow. <laughs> ah, cool. Well, get him back in the water. Warm day out here. I don't want to keep him out too long. What I like to do when we're pitching these shorelines in the spring is what I call the Devil's Lake one-two punch. And what I'll do is I'll throw a swim bait up front like this four inch action tail here, and I'll have the guy in the back throwing a crankbait. Now on this swim bait, you just wanna pitch it out and kind of work it back. You don't really jig it along the bottom, just reel and maybe a little stutter stop every once in a while, but you basically just swim it right back to the boat. And the guy in the back will be throwing a crankbait. And a lot of times the, sh the fish will definitely show a preference for one or the other. So I wanna start out with that one-two punch and kind of let the fish tell us what's going to work for that day. Now we've had very warm, stable weather, and frankly, I expect the crankbait to be a lot better today. But again, we want to let the fish tell us what's the best bait for the day. Who going? Stop the motor! You got? <laughs> you got <Stop> fish? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were motoring us up to take another drift there, and I just kind of popping my lure behind the boat. <laughs> All I saw was these big yappers come out. <laughs> That's a big gator. Yeah, I'll get him right to you. Here. He's only barely hooked, isn't he? No, I know he's got just one bar. Come on, open now up. Now he doesn't want to open his big old mouth. There, there we go. Come <laughs> <laughs> here. Nice one. I got him. I got him. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we were just ordering this up there. I thought, ah, I'll throw it out here, make sure my bait's still in tune and stuff. I guess it is. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the fun thing here. You're not really fishing with tackle for pike, you know, because we got to stay a little bit finessey for the walleyes. Sure. Can't go real heavy line and stuff, but we're certainly getting big enough fish for the size of tackle we're using right there. It's a nice one. Nice pike. <laughs> bonus, huh? Oh, yeah. We'll call it a bonus. Bonus fish. information from real fishing experts presented by amsoil if you troll at all you know one of the most important things is knowing how deep your baits are going so for years most of us used a book called precision trolling which had like 200 crankbaits in it you could actually go to a chart and look up how deep the bait was going based on how much line you were letting out well that book is no longer being published but the cool thing is is now you can get it on an app and there'll be iPhone apps, there'll be Android apps. And the nice thing is, is that I think it's actually easier to use. First of all, the app is gonna allow you to buy different varieties of lures. You can buy single lures, you can buy packages of lures. You can even become a lifetime member and get every lure that they ever test uh, as it comes out. But if you look at the app itself, you can go to the store, you can buy the different lures. But the more interesting thing here is if you hit this troll button, you'll see a list of all the lures that you've got purchased so far. So I'm gonna go under the Berkeley subcategory and here you can see 
we've got listed all the flicker shad. So let's go under number seven flicker shad here. So if, say I'm seeing some fish on the screen 10 feet down. I want to run the bait nine feet down. I simply roll up to nine feet and it will tell me let out 55 feet of 10 pound XT. You can also go the opposite way. Say you've got a lure running out there and you're running out there 100 feet wondering to yourself how deep does that bait actually go? Simply roll it to 100 feet and it's going to tell you that bait is diving down 12 feet. So it shows you both ways. You can put in a depth, it'll give you a line out. You can put a mount of line out and it'll give you a depth. You can also switch between two different types of line. The two most common lines we use for walleye trolling, 10 pound XT or you can roll up the fire line and then obviously your bait will go a little bit deeper. But the cool thing is this app is right with you all the time. You can roll and, and check all this data real quickly. All going to help you catch more walleyes because it's going to put those baits in the right zone.